America's electric cooperatives use a variety of fuels to power millions of American homes and businesses. Coal-fired power plants, for instance, make electricity by releasing energy stored in coal, a natural resource derived from prehistoric plants that absorbed solar energy. Burning coal heats water that generates steam. Steam turns large turbines, causing rotation of generators and electricity production. Coal is either mined near the plant or is mined at a distance and transported over rail lines to the power plant. Hydropower plants use water in a different way. Instead of converting the energy of heated water, turbines convert the energy of moving water into mechanical energy that turns generators and produces electricity. Another fuel used to generate electricity is natural gas obtained through onshore and offshore drilling. Refinement of raw gas removes impurities before its delivery by way of an elaborate network of interstate pipelines. Electric co-ops purchase the fuel from local natural gas distribution companies, directly from gas producers, and through gas marketers. Like coal-fired plants, nuclear power plants use steam to generate electricity. But instead of burning sedimentary rock formed from dead plants, nuclear plants rely on heat created by stable nuclear reactions. As with other methods of generation, a turbine turns a generator that produces electricity. Plutonium and uranium are commonly used fuels, but the element thorium is believed to be an ideal fuel for future reactors. Renewable energy sources such as wind power and utility-scale solar use environmentally clean resources to generate electricity. Polished photovoltaic cells convert about 20% of the light that touches them into electricity. Like other energy sources, wind power relies on turbines to turn generators. Instead of rushing water, however, wind turns the blade. Regardless of its origin, energy travels a predictable path to American homes and businesses. After leaving the power plant, electricity moves along transmission lines to a local substation. After that, the energy completes a final leg of its journey along distribution power lines, having been transformed from high voltage to lower voltages along its travels. Ultimately, it arrives at the homes and businesses of electric co-op members. Today, a growing number of electric co-op members are installing solar panels, small wind turbines, and other environmentally friendly electric generation technologies to help meet their energy needs. Unfortunately, the wind doesn't always blow and the sun doesn't always shine. By remaining connected to the grid, members have access to reliable power. To learn more about energy services, renewable energy, and the power you rely on every day, talk to the energy experts at your local electric co-op. They can help you decide what solution makes the most sense for you and your home.